Hi, this is Carl James Sankford. I'm back working on the roundhouse and uh, I just put two lintels on for the for the doorway. Well, for the entrance way. And um, I'm just I'm just up here and looking at the central row of timbers. And uh, as some of you will know, I'm I'm an access analysis archaeologist. And it looks very different from up here, very different. Um, so the, these posts um, are three meters high and I'm looking down and you've got the space. So I'm looking down in the space, impressive space. Those, um, those two timbers are actually roof timbers there. So I'm gonna put another beam on this one, on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna crenellate the beams somehow. It's just going to be a bit of an overlap thing. I, I was thinking about cutting these. I was thinking about cutting them all the way around to make them level. I'm thinking, well, you know, even though I just want to do like a composite build here. So we've got posts in the ground held with concrete. Um, and, and the reason why you're seeing a fence at this minute, it's uh, this is sort of on the edge of a, a boundary between um, a field that we've got sheep and uh, an area that we've got actually got a garden so so interesting enough the interesting thing is is that the the space of the roundhouse is actually divided is actually cut in two um, by a fence which is quite abhorrent and it's that it's that sense again a sense of space and it was Carl James Langford developing the roundhouse thank you very much let's stop this recording <laughs>